everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to the Noodle Planet. And I just woke up from a nap, and uh, actually, well, I should have probably shown you guys, but I was checking to make sure that what I was building down there, which you guys can't quite see, uh, wasn't blocking my view of sunset. And that's a zombie there. Um, but yeah, it turns out sunset, the sunset's right there, so it's okay because the thing I'm building is like right there. So uh, yeah, I was a little bit worried about losing my sunset view, and I was like, oh man, I'm going to have to move that thing. But no, the sunset's like right there, and so this thing won't be in the way. And I've uh, built a little scaffolding that we're going to use in a little bit. But we have a few things to do first. Uh, first of all, hmm... We could bring a dog. I really want to... Okay, Ipokani has been neglected for quite some time, so it's time to take her. Come along. Now, be careful, because there could be a few things... You're ready to go. Uh, there could... No, get back up. Uh, there could be a few things that you get in trouble with, so be careful. Uh, okay, and then the other thing is my idea from the end of the last episode with the signs. And as you guys can see here, it does actually stop the vines. And, I mean, I don't know where to start. Should I start here or here or, like, up here? I think I'm just going to start uh, right here. This is going to be the first sign. So we're going to take this off because I don't need my name on it. And I've decided what to do. And it really comes from the help of Nicolette's S. So we'll put her name on the sign right now. And you guys can see. And uh, her idea was, I think the names on the noodle tree should represent noodlers who have won the golden noodle. The golden noodle is an award typically given once per survival episode to the noodler who made the best comment on the previous episode. No matter how I determine his or her comment to be the best, perhaps is the most helpful, most innovative, or the first to give the correct answer to a question, the golden noodlers have all earned their place. So Nicolette S, uh, you had the best comment, and so you get that one. Now, uh, let me tell you before I uh, before I continue along, because you know this is the first real episode with uh, what we're doing and what this is all about. Um, it won't necessarily be a comment on YouTube. It could be a tweet on Twitter. It could be some fan art you, uh, you, you sent me in an email. Could be anything, but the Golden Noodle uh, will be awarded once per episode to someone. And I was almost going to put two in this episode because someone gave me a really great idea for the storage room, which you guys will see in a second. But when I went back to find them, uh, YouTube deleted their comments. So yeah, and this was their idea. So uh, the, to the commenter who said, put a window up there, uh, you know who you are. Great idea, really, really good. Um, and I love being able to come down, uh, cause you know, this was just stone here. And oh no, oh no, 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 no. Where, where is she, where is she? Ibokani, get over here. Okay, oh my gosh, get out of the water, get out of the water. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <sighs> These dogs. Um, do we have any steak here? Uh, okay. Unfortunately, Ibo Kani, I've only brought rotten flesh with me today. You almost died. Already? Seriously? Ugh. All right, get over here. Get over here. You're gonna you're gonna be like this, aren't you? You're gonna be like this all day. So you're gonna sit down because I don't want you to fall. But yeah, I really do love uh, seeing that um, instead of just having stone. And, and we're gonna texture these walls. I don't like how they're just flat all the way down. It's really kind of mm, boring. And let's see, uh, okay, so yeah, um, I've done some work up there and I started to map out the ceiling. The uh, The dirt is where the glowstone used to be on the old ceiling. But what I wanna do today is make the chandelier and also, yes, this has been um, <laughs> updated. This is what I came up with for the design. And the nice thing is um, it's not terribly bright. Um, uh, well, once, especially once I take these off, um, but the nice thing is this is these are slabs and these are stairs and well this one will they'll spawn on but um anyway getting over to this edge obviously they can't spawn on chests and then this edge that's going to be the furthest away from the chandelier uh they can't spawn on because uh it's it's slabs um they're at the you know 0 0.5 point so anyway uh let's get started on um some sort of chandelier and i've got um I got glowstone. Uh, I was going to use the redstone lamps like we, we used um, on the ceiling before. And we, we may put that in the ceiling part. I don't really know. I just left that like that. But um, the reason I'm not going to use redstone lamps in the chandelier is because you need redstone. And I guess we could use redstone blocks. But um, I figure what we'll do is we'll just use um, we'll use glowstone. 
and then uh, and then we'll put trap doors over it because you guys know I don't like the look of glowstone. So uh, I've never built a chandelier, and I don't even know what they are supposed to look like, really. Um, should I go? I feel like I should. Well, this is yeah. That's this is about the right height, um, and I I don't. I don't know. I, I've seen them built with torches before. Why can't I? Oh, I was like, why can't I go over there? Uh, we need a little bit more space here to work with. And uh, I mean, it might be just as simple as this, and then we'll make the roof design a little bit more, um, a little bit more, I guess, uh, decorative. I don't. Should we go out further with it? I mean, uh, you know what? Oh, I just had an idea. Um, because. The thing about this is going to be, so if we put the glowstone, do I have the shears? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, if we put the glowstone, just like, for example, put it on all of these, right? Come on, put it on there. And this one, all the outer ones. Um, might be kind of boring. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, so now I'm in the middle here. Whee, this is fun. Yay, look at that. Okay, Um. so let me put the trap... Oh, see, now that's going to be a problem right there already uh, because they're adjacent, so we can't put the trap doors. Uh, it's okay if you don't put them on the inside, really. You're not going to see it that much, but um, okay, so let's um, let's get rid of that and that, and which one is it? Okay, yeah. All right, so, um, but what I was thinking was uh, we could put, uh, this is probably not going to be so great. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Um, these don't even join together. What if I do that? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Might not be so bad. Put that there. And then connect them all. Let's see what happens. Um, dun, 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 dun. There's one missing there. Okay. Now uh, let's 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 um let's get our shovel out here. Uh, let's just go down here and see um what we have now obviously i'm not gonna leave it like that you know that's not so bad i thought it might be oh and then oh and then okay okay so yep and then what i want to do is um okay coming up with it I, i'm getting there how am i missing a dirt block i thought i had oh it's over there uh okay oh that's too high and then put one more here like this and this and go down one um, and here and here, and then we'll put the trap door. So we'll go up around the edges over this way. Here we go. Oh, okay. That, well, um, all right. So we'll start the trap doors here and we'll just put on the outsides and just eh, see how it looks. Uh, what was I hitting anyway? Okay. I think I was just off the edge of the block. Yeah. Okay. So. And the nice thing about trap doors is they do um, make it look a little better. Oh, that was dumb. Um, but uh, they don't absorb any light. They don't, you know, make it seem like there's a block there. So, uh, so the uh, it's still providing appropriate light. Yeah, this might not be so bad. I, it's just you guys know I am not. I've never been a fan of the glowstone texture, and that's why I typically use. Um, Redstone lamps, wherever I can use. It. Oh, and by the way, you guys notice I um I switched out the stone there to crafting tables because, um, it it's really an oh no, it's really oh man. So I'm gonna have to work on this upper layer here because the problem is now is that I'm gonna do that, and if I put it on this side here, then oh, then I can't put it there because it occupies that space. Um, yeah, I should, probably should have thought this through a little bit more with the well you know why am i why why am i stuck you know what maybe that's the problem maybe the problem is that i'm using glowstone and that's really not what you want to use for one of these you really want to use torches and i think that's okay um for me to use it um and the reason i'm using the enchanted shears because they have silk touch uh so that way it breaks the glowstone and doesn't break into pieces and also, I think, I mean, but I could be wrong, that it doesn't use the durability on this, so it's better than using a self-touch shovel or something like that. I don't know that, though. Don't quote me on that part, but anyway, uh, it does work that way on ice. I know that it doesn't use the durability. Um, there we go. Okay, so let's uh, let's try this again <laughs> with torches. Let's try this with torches now because I think that it's going to be better um, this way. So let's... 
let's try it out. Um, now I would think that, okay, so I guess the way I've got this, I'll pull it out a little bit further on this level. I'll keep what I have, but then go out one more like this and like, yeah, this, this is, this is might be okay. Um, geez, get over there. Get over there. Why am I crouching? Like I'm protect. I'm like afraid I'm going to fall for some reason, but I'm not. So I don't know what the deal is. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, right. So it needs to go out too. There and there. Yeah, cool. And ah, there and there. Okay. And here and here. And one more over here. Come on. Okay. So now we'll put the torches on top. This is, I think this is going to be better. I think already it's better. This is, wow, I don't know why it put it there. Oh, interesting. So if you put the hitbox there, huh. Okay, whatever. I would have thought it would have put, put it on the one on top if I put that hitbox there, but whatever. Okay, fine. Done. And uh, give me that one. Okay, let's see. Come on. Give me that one. And uh, you know what? I'm okay with this. This is kind of... This is actually okay. I'm, I'm really, ah, okay. All right, I think this will work. And the nice thing is, I think that it provides enough light that we can get rid of all these ugly ones that are on this. And uh, we won't have to worry about things spawning. Obviously in those we would, but, um, and we'll fix the lighting there. But I think we should be okay with it. Let's just check. So yeah, look, we got seven, seven. Oh, right here, we've got a problem. But this isn't fair because this isn't done over here. Well, and there is not done either, but over here, uh, I've put those up there. So this should be totally fine. Let's see. Well, light zeros. This, oh, these are slabs. Anyway, these are slabs and this, this, there's not going to be anything for them to spawn on. And what am I talking about? This, this isn't going to even exist. It's going to be chests and slabs and same here, chests and slabs. So we really, all we have to worry about is this part here. And this part here seems to be just fine. Oh, there's a six right there. Um, but I think it, and I'm going to put it torch here and I'm um I think that that is cor mm, it's a little low right here I'm gonna have to work on that uh that's not good enough um what I may do is put a piston up or a facing up piston on the floor right there uh for light I'm not sure uh I, I just don't want the torches on the chandelier are fine I just don't want torches out around here so anyway let's uh <laughs> let's go and um Continue work on that uh, lovely, come on, let's go, uh, on that lovely structure you guys saw out there um, that I'd put the uh, dirt sky. I, I desperately, desperately, desperately want to kill that zombie. Wherever he is, him and his family, I don't know. But all he does is moan and moan. Oh, wait, I just realized something. Do I need stuff? I think I might. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to, uh, what do I need? Oh, right. Uh, No, I think I... Let me just make sure, um, let me empty my inventory anyway. Oh, uh, because I, I think that I, I think that I've got everything that I need. Um, oh, and I've done a lot of organization. Um, so I've got a few extra chests. Um, oh, and I didn't even show you, but, uh, the cobblestone, you guys probably saw, you see the cobblestone on the frames there and the dirt in the frames. That's where the dirt is. That's where the cobble is. Um, got a few double chests full of it for now. I probably... I'm going to get more uh, because I've been, um, oh, that doesn't even go there. It's the wrong place for it, but whatever. Uh, okay, fine. Um, what did I come back for? I forgot. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I, I think I have, let me see. Yep, I got all of that and all of that. Got the, okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I, okay. All right, fine. Don't, I don't need anything from there. Um, but, uh, but I did need the inventory space, I think, so. Well, we'll, we'll, man, and I really, really need a real elevator. And with the slime blocks, you can do it now. And I really, really, really need it. So mark that on the list for a new project. Uh, I've seen the ones with mine carts, and I really like those. And um, they seem kind of fun to ride, too. Um, okay, so it's dark. And normally, I wouldn't care. Uh, but it is uh, in the place that we're going to be working there. Definitely our mobs. I was, um... As you guys can see, I, I cleared the hill a little bit. Nah. I cleared the hill a little little bit further down. I flattened it lower. And while I was there, um, uh, well, it was raining. But anyway, 
uh, things will spawn there. And oh, look, she's <laughs> Evil Connie's coming to coming to have a nap with me. Good dog. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to jump on the bed. Dogs, dogs sleep over here. Dogs sleep over here. Nope, nope. Dogs sleep there. Yes, stay off the bed. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, the the. Uh, the, I was there, and it, like I said, it was raining. We gotta, we gotta go this way. Um, and a witch spawned, and I wasn't really paying much attention because I was just digging, um, trying to clear that off. And um, and then I killed the witch, and then his friend came or her friend came, and uh, yeah, it ended up being an issue. Uh, um, I okay, wait. Um, what am I? Okay. <sighs> So, guys, I don't know if you've guessed what we're going to be building here, but uh, we're going to be building something. Um, well, we've already built some of it, uh, but let me dye some wool here. Um, let's see. Is that that's still not going to be enough? Uh, good thing I have a, uh, I guess, a an abundance or <laughs> I guess an overabundance of, of uh, red, uh, rose red dye or, or I guess poppies from the Iron Golem farm. So I can dye my wool uh, instead of having to get all red wool, which is really nice because um, I had a lot of white wool left. Uh, I still am going to need more. This is not going to be enough. Um, let's do some more here. I may have to go get some, some more flowers. For some reason, I thought when you uh, turn a poppy into dye, it gives you two, but it doesn't. So, okay, that's a good start. Uh, and we've got the end stone. Okay, okay. Uh, get the bread out of there. Get those out of there. Okay. All right. So we're going to go up to the top and I don't know why there's a ladder here. Go away. Okay. Uh, and here we go. This is the view from the top. And I think I added one or two levels more, uh, since you guys saw. So this is the top and yes, this is the area I've cleared. Um, going to clear it a little bit more and then I have to taper this down. So it sort of, you know, it, it, it looks like a real hill. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do here is I've already built it out to the point where we want to start and we are going to start it up. So we're going to go, um, we're going to go and build this. Well, I mean circle, I guess, uh, but you know, no circles in Minecraft, but it is, um, squarely. How about a squarely rounded circle? So we're going to do seven like that. And then we'll do that on all four sides. So we'll go over here. And this will start to move a lot faster uh, once I once I get it started. But uh, yeah, I, I I did the prep work I think, and did the calculations. Well, I looked at like this circle thing, this like GIF uh, or GIF as some people call it, but I call it a GIF. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. But um, okay, uh, I I think I, I I don't know. Man, I almost said GIFs again. Uh, they were sort of, I guess, invented a long, long time ago, and that's how people used to say it. And, you know, since I'm really um, advanced in age, uh, <laughs> I say it the old way. So uh, this should go well there, and then we'll do the same thing here. Um, and I think that this is, I think I remembered it correctly on how, um, geez, this is going, you, oh my goodness. Hey, why don't you, this is a great, great viewing plat, viewing spot for you. Come on, sit. Oh, it's the vines. You know, the, the weirdest thing, uh, earlier when I was going back and forth to my storage room, um, and, uh, okay. So, and uh, it was really, really strange. Um, Ferdinand, uh, showed up and, uh, <laughs> He was sitting and he was inside one of my chests, like nosing around in there, up to no good, checking to see if it had any uh, any snacks in it. And of course there weren't. He was in the uh, the rail uh, chest, you know, the one with with um, with powered rails and stuff. And so he didn't find any snacks. But the problem is, <laughs> I couldn't get him out. Uh, he 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 was so um, so interested in the chest and he was sure that he was going to find a snack in there so i had to break the chest um and uh, show him inside and say look there's really nothing in there trust me and uh and once i showed him that i was able to make him stand up and bring him back to the treehouse but yeah he was just sitting down inside the chest and uh <laughs> he, 
I couldn't I couldn't activate him because every time I tried to get him to stand up, it would open the chest. So yeah, it was really annoying. I'm I don't know how, why he teleported over. You know, other than like I said, looking for snacks, but um, <laughs> it was really annoying. Okay, so we're getting to the end of this little circle thing here, and oh, I didn't go. Oh, I didn't build that one. Uh, okay, well. Let's go there. Almost there. And yeah, I am going to need loads more wool, guys. So we're... N I, I could use um dirt in place of it, I think. Maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, because there's no way I have anywhere near the right amount of wool. I thought I did. But, uh, but you know, that wool farm is so great. Uh, I, I've gotten so much wool. And, you know, it's almost... I mean, there's not... I, I I almost want to say that there's enough um, sheep in it that you could uh, you could just keep running around you know you could make the rounds and then you you know start with red and then go through all the colors and then by the time you're done with all the colors all the red ones have their wool back and it's not quite that efficient but it's close uh, by the time you make a full round um, you get uh, I think I think probably f at least half of them. Of the first one have all their wool back sometimes more but uh, okay so yeah so we've done the first level and then what we're going to do is oh no 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 I've done this wrong I've done this wrong uh, we're gonna go ah, okay now you would think it would go that way but no it does not go that way it goes this way so we're gonna go out one um, and uh, should be okay you know wow it didn't for some reason how come that doesn't use the durability on the shears. That's weird. Uh, okay. I mean, not that I'm complaining a lot, but uh, it is kind of odd. Uh, okay, so mm, we want one there, but not, yeah, so we want it like that. Well, yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. It makes it a lot easier to uh, to just surround it by just going like this. Yeah, that's easier. Okay. There we go. And uh, so we're going, and then, oops, wait. Nope. Well, yeah, let's just kill this one though. Don't like that. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, wait. Hmm? Okay, yeah. And then here. And then, um, out one more? Yeah. Okay, cool. There. All right. Sorry, guys. I, I, I had this sort of mapped in my head. And then the thing is, when you put it onto or into mine, oh yeah, that <laughs> that was my uh, my beacon shutting off because I got out of range, uh, and that was a little bit scary. Um, but yeah, when when you're mapping it out in your head, and then you actually put it into play on the blocks, you know, yeah, it it oh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't quite match sometimes, and uh, you have to think twice. Uh, there, okay. Oops. Okay, so let's see. Gosh, I hope we get more done soon. I gotta move quick. Come on, man. I I, I know we're not gonna finish this. Uh oh, geez. I thought I'd cut out enough of this, and that's what I was saying. You know that that you know you map it out in your head, but it doesn't exactly go as planned all the time. Um, so it it doesn't. Ah, still not enough. Okay. Oh, wait, is it? Is it? Oh, yeah, it's just enough. Look at that. <laughs> uh, Ipo Kani, sorry. <laughs> How does that smell? Hmm? Uh, Ipo Kani, wait, I don't like you stuck down in there. That. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on up, 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 up. I, I don't really like that. Come on. Oh, gosh. Come on out. Come on out. Come over here. Ugh, I think she likes it. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just sit her down there and then... There, just in case, you know, I don't, I don't want her stuck in there. What if she has to go to the bathroom or something? And, um, it, yeah, it just, uh, it's really not what you want <laughs> is have her stuck in a hole and then she's got to pee. And then, you know, it just, yeah, it's really, really, it's cruel, you know? Um, okay. So there, 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 come on. Wait, why am I crouching on the edge? That's just not the right way to do this. Uh, there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, have you guys guessed what this is going to be? I mean, at this point, you probably have a pretty good idea. Uh, some of you guessed on the last video um, uh, that what it was uh, what it was going to be. Oops, um, I was pretty surprised. Uh, well, actually, no, you guys are really smart, so um, I wasn't surprised that 
some of you got it um, because yeah, the, the clues were there a little bit and now they're really there. Uh, but, uh, Oh, there. Cool. Okay. Now this will be a little bit, well, uh, somewhat easier. Um, but what we're going to do now is, uh, just rebuild the layer that we sort of did before. Um, so, uh, the lower layer, uh, that is. So what we'll do is like this and we'll go here. Yeah. And bring it back, start bringing it back in. Um, just to, I guess, yeah, to identically match the layer uh, below it. And does that, uh, does that match? I don't even know. Oh yeah, it does, it does. Uh, or the layer below the layer below it, if that makes any sense, guys. Uh, right, and it is getting dark. And I did say that I didn't want to, uh, to work on this while it was dark, but, oh no, I don't want that there. Um, but I, I want to get this layer finished uh, before going to bed and then, oh, but it's getting, oh, it's getting dangerous. Oh boy. Uh, all right, let's, uh, okay, you know what we'll do is I'm going to go until I, yeah, I'm going to, well, I'll go until I run out of wool. We'll see what happens. Um, but, oops, geez, let's just put that there and get that back. Um, but uh, I have a feeling that we're going to get attacked by mobs before that. And if that happens, then we're going to bed. But I might get lucky. So we'll see here. Come on. Um, this way and this way. Okay. And we'll just go across the top here. Okay. Ah, lovely, lovely wool. And we, we, we're going to... Um, we, we. we will change some of these colors. Uh, some of this is going to be, end up being white in the end. Uh, the wool that is Oh, See, I hear one. I hear a skeleton. You get up because in case we have to leave, I don't want to leave you out here. Um, Oh, Oh, you know what? <laughs> Let's see if she chases it because, because dogs love to chase bones. And, uh, in the, in this, in 1.8, they actually do go after skeletons. Look at her. She's look at her. Do, 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 do. <laughs> She's enjoying it. This is not like a little maze for you or anything. It's not a, it's not a, it's not an obstacle course for dogs, you know? Uh, but yeah. Oh, I think, Oh, I think she's after the skeleton. Nope. Nope. She's not. She's just, she's just treating this like an amusement park ride. And it's not, it isn't, it, this is for, well, I mean, it's for fun and it's for looks, but it's also going to be functional. Uh, well, assuming that I know what I'm doing, it's going to be functional. Oh, hey, 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 careful. Are you crazy? Okay, sit down. I don't like you. Oh, my gosh. Well, at least, is that water? Yeah, oh, man, I don't know. Um, I feel like she's going to fall off and break her legs. Okay, I think we're I think we're doing okay. Um, so I'm just going to keep working through the night. Oh, there's a zombie down there. Uh, but I'm going to keep working through the night here because I want to have something to show to you guys. Um, and, yeah, I went to the end. Oh, right. While I was in the end. So uh, I went to the end and um, I really wish I had a beacon there because um, end stone breaks like, I guess it's like regular stone. Uh, and without a beacon, even with efficiency five, it's a bit slow and I wanted a bunch of it. So I, I probably grabbed way too much. But anyway, while I was there, I was like, oh, you know what? Let me try and get some XP and some ender pearls with my uh, poor man's enderman farm. Yeah, that th doesn't work that well anymore. I don't know what happened, um, but as soon as I put the pistons down, they sort of like backed away. And normally they just stand there and get crushed and then you can kill them. But they sort of backed away. One of the, um, I think one of the endermites pushed me and then they were all mad at me because I'd looked at them to get them there and I really, really almost died. I, I ran as quickly as I could and had to jump through the fountain and come back here and then go all the way back. <laughs> Because the Endermen were so mad, um, uh, it was <laughs> it was it was a little bit uh, annoying. Um, I, I I don't know. May, I I didn't change anything in the poor man's Enderman farm. So, uh, oops. Uh, so I, I don't. I'm really really not sure what in fact happened. Um, maybe it was a glitch. I don't know. But things were not working very well. That's all I know. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it was. Yeah, it was annoying because I was like, oh, I'll just grab, you know, I'll just go grab some. And nope, 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 <laughs> nope. Uh, but I did grab a bunch of end stone. So um, we'll get through it. And oh, there. Okay. So we're almost halfway done with this level. And I mean, 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys. Uh, we'll do one more. Um, well, we'll get right to the middle, and then I'll uh, I'll do another level, and then you guys can get a better idea of what this is going to be. Um, although I think a lot of you know what it is. Um, and actually, oh well, um, we can test that next time. Uh, but oop, is that? Oh no, I got plenty, and I do have enough. Uh, probably too much, like I said. But um, yeah, we'll just go across the top there. Uh, um, okay, so that's the halfway point, and then I'll put some more red wool, and then we're just gonna start coming in again. So that should be um, fairly, uh, fairly easy as I have trouble with it right now. Um, is this is this right? Yeah, that's right, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot easier, at least this level, and then, you know, then there's gonna be a level up, but, um, but it's just gonna be concentrically uh, coming in, level by level, and being able to place it on the end stone makes it a lot easier and quicker, and, Oh, I thought that was Ipokani. Where where are you? Oh, you're still there. Okay. Uh there. Okay. Uh No, I want this to connect. So I want it to connect all the way around, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Ah. Uh, this would give me, you know. I take that back. I don't want it to connect. I want on this level, I want to start it um early if I can. Uh when I what what I mean by early is it just gives me a little bit more floor space. Uh, because this is a level that we're going to be walking on and stuff. So, yeah, there. Okay, so that gives us... Oh, this will be plenty. Plenty of space. Um, and I can go one up so you guys can get a little bit more of an idea. Although, we're almost out of wool, aren't we? Yeah, we're almost out of red wool anyway. Um, but I should be able to get a little bit uh, done here. Weird. I always thought that it uses the durability on your shears when you break wool. I know it does. Oh, when you right click it, it does, but I guess when you left click to break it, it doesn't. So, hmm. I, as you can tell, I don't build much with wool or I haven't up to this point, but lately I have been, um, and I've just never used new shears on it. And I'm, yeah, <laughs> kind of surprised at that. Uh, but this is something that probably every single one of you knew, and this is not news to any of you. Um, but it is to me. So yeah. Uh, right. And there we go, three, and we should be able to get an idea from um, from the treehouse of what this is going to look like because of the angle we'll be able to see it at. And then I, oh, well, that's that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go and get myself some wool. Um, and I was gonna go down the ladder, but that is the boring way, right, Ibokani? We go out like this. Oh, wow, that was close. I should have jumped. Ibokani, hit the water, not the not the land. Where Where are you? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where's she gone? Ah, all right. Well, oh, and I, oh man, I should get rid of that scaffolding. Um, okay, let's let's. Oh, there she is. Whoa, look at her. Aw, she's all dry. Look how happy she is. And let's get some bread. Uh, we'll we'll go to sleep because it's so dark we can't really see it. But um, uh, even in the dark, you guys pretty much know what it is. But uh, hey, guys, excuse me. We'll be building you a house soon. Uh, yeah, we will be building a house for the dogs soon. Um, I'm kind of working toward it. I've been thinking about it for a long time, uh, ever since Think's wife was on here. And I've like I I've got it mapped out in my head where I want it to be and how I kind of want it to look. Uh, we'll go down because um, uh, you know what? Why doesn't everyone? Well, Naruko too. You're gonna have to stay here. I'm sorry, but we'll bring all all the uh, all of them. Let's bring all four. Um, but uh, Naruko too can't because um, she is uh, owned by Thing's wife, so I can't control her. So everybody, come here. Come here. Take a look. What do you guys think? Yeah. Oh. Oh gosh. Okay. What happened? All right. Who got hurt? Come here. Who got hurt? Was he? Oh, it was Kobe. Oh, sorry, Ferdinand. Ferdinand, you have been getting into nonstop trouble today. My goodness. All right, there we go. Okay, wait. Where's the fourth one? Oh, see, there's a witch over there. They love to spawn. No, guys, stay over here. Leave the witch alone. They are mean. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I think you guys have a pretty good idea of what it is. It is a giant mushroom. And yeah, once I take the um, once I take the the the, 
the dirt away. It'll look more like that. And then when I put the end stone on bottom, and I tried um, a bunch of different uh, materials. I, I was going to try, um, who's climbing trees? Who told you to, Ferdinand, wait, was it you? Who was it? Who was climbing trees? That is dangerous. Don't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I tried um, uh, stained clay, white stained clay, and, and um, nothing really, really looked like the bottom of a mushroom. But the end stone kind of did. It looks like cheese too. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so what we're going to do inside that giant mushroom is the floor is end stone, and I'm just going to make it into a mushroom farm. Uh, I don't have one, and I don't have a lot of mushrooms, but... And I forgot to show you guys, so we'll head back up. The reason for it is I have, I'm running a texture pack now, guys. And you guys are like, what? It looks exactly the same as default Minecraft. Yes, but with one very important change, it's that. <laughs> noodle soup. Uh, yeah, so instead of mushroom soup, it is now noodle soup. And, well, you know, in order for me to make it, hey, guys, stay off the bed. Telling you guys, Ibokani tried to sleep in the bed last night, and it's not allowed, and you shouldn't be on the countertop. Get down. No, get down. Get over here. Get down. Yep, come on, get down. Ugh, these dogs are so disobedient. But, um, but yeah, we're going to be building, or we're going to be putting mushrooms uh, on there, so once it closes off. And I think I understand the, um, the mushroom growth mechanics, although I could be wrong. But uh, I think it has to do with light levels of ambient light and not necessarily the light that you put on it. So I think I know how to make one that's dark enough to make mushrooms and uh, <laughs> bright enough not to spawn mobs. So we'll have that and we can make all kinds of noodle soup and it'll be kind of a cool, I think it's a cool addition. You know, um, I think it looks really cool or once it's done, it's gonna look really cool. Um, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on the Noodle Planet. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching and of course, noodle on.